tonight identical to the presentation that you gave uh, the San Rafael Council earlier this week? <coughs> uh, it is been moved around a little bit. The slides were reordered, Pam, mm -hmm. uh, and they were put by me in layman's terms. Uh, and that is why Diane is standing here to give you the deeper dive if you need it. It is the same material covered, but we decided to start the presentation with the top level, the major concepts, and then let you ask questions. But the same points have been covered. I, I appreciate that. And I ask identical because it seems to me that the titling uh, that that uh, Regan Candelario uh, referred to first in this presentation is a really immediate concern. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have the seats full. We are here at 10, 15. There are many people who have no idea what removing a straight a state procedural obstacle is. We have probably thousands, the same number of people that are idling up on freeways and traffic is the same number of people who don't recognize a, a sales cap exemption whenever it's called a state procedural obstacle. They don't understand either that you're having a community conversation. They think that you are taking the first step towards going for a sales tax increase. Can I ask a question, please? Conversation and then last maximum flexibility for local jurisdictions to pay the cost of things like the Nevada Narrows that the federal government and the state government has traditionally covered. So, if you look behind you, we don't have the people of Novato here, and they haven't had a chance to understand what this item is all about. So the question was, why did you change the titling of the item? This is the title we used. Um, we've used. We've used this title for the two previous presentations which is a, this discussion opportunity framework for addressing our transportation needs. This is a different title than was in the San Rafael agenda. <coughs> a completely different title. Yeah. It was uh, very straightforward. Group, I, I understand as a fellow council member that me, I understand as a fellow council member the, the, the importance of clarity and transparency. And, and I apologize sincerely if uh, this does not look uh, as transparent as you might have liked. I can tell you that this is a, an administrative step in a process which has many checks and balances along the way where the community will have an opportunity, thumbs up and thumbs down, and you as a council member and your colleagues will have opportunities, thumbs up and thumbs down. We, we are not asking to raise the sales tax tonight. Pam, do you have another question? If you could speak in the mic. My other question is why shouldn't we just simply re agendize this matter? Because our people are not here. They haven't had the opportunity to know to be here. And you're talking to uh, a, a very limited number of folks. And our, our point, our whole point, of existence is to get the message to the people and certainly not anything like the sales cap exemption. So shall we just put this off? I would certainly defer to you and your colleagues. 
colleagues. I respect that decision.